Oh, 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 oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I just got an alert of a new report that's available for Fabric Admins. And let's, I, I want to check this out together with you. This is going to be my first response. We're just going to be doing this clean. So you check it out, what's available in this report. Let's walk through it together. I, I'm excited about it. Hey, do the YouTube thing. Like, subscribe, leave comments, all that stuff. If you want early access to this content, become a member for as little as $5. You can get access to this stuff right away. All right, so I got a notification today that there's a new report that's out inside of the admin section in Power BI. In fact, I'll let you in on a little secret. Someone, a little birdie told me that this was coming. So I've been waiting for, waiting anxiously for this, okay? So to access this, you do have to be Power BI tenant admin. Uh, but it's good to watch this if you're not. So, like, hang in there. Don't go away. Um, because even if you're not a, a Power BI tenant admin, you, you can get benefit of knowing that it's there so you can just ask them for this information, okay? So where do you get this stuff? Well, if you go into workspaces, you'll see that there's this admin monitoring section up here. We're going to go ahead and click on admin monitoring, and we're going to go in and we're going to see the uh, three reports that are now available in the service. If, 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 you, you're just first logging into it, you're just gonna see these reports that are available for you. These new content sharing reports, you're gonna get a little notification in, in the upper corner up here. Oopsies, come on now. Uh, upper corner, you're gonna see it up here. It's gonna basically say, hey, you know, blah, 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 it's loading, you know, da, 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 da. hold on, wait for it. And then all of a sudden it'll be there. You got to give it a minute for like the data to come in. And when I say a minute, like, like open it up and then come back five minutes later. Okay. Um, it's not an, it's not an instant thing. It's got to like populate it into your tenant then it's got to load. Okay. So let's quick touch on what's out there already. So we already had the feature usage adopter adoption report. This is a brand new report. This was just rolled out. Uh, I've got a video someplace else. So hopefully I'll remember to tag it. You can go check out here. Uh, uh, there's also the purview hub report. We just recently went through this as well. Um, this is that both of these actually have improvements have been added to this. You're going to see, and we're going to touch on that in the actual content sharing report. Oh, this is a content sharing report. This is a purview hub report. Ah, not loading. Uh -huh. All right. Well, I don't have that in the purview one, but this is the new content sharing report that's out there. Let's get this in. Let's maximize this view. Go full screen on this so you can see everything in all its glory. Okay. So one of the better things that we've got on this, this page is like, we've got this incredible ability to like actually look at some real good best practices that we see on here. Okay. So we've got a filters pad page on the side where we can actually go in, select, you know, go in and select different capacities different workspace names. We could actually go in, make all those sections, click on apply, and then apply all those at one time. We can see that we've got our different work, like uh, different visuals that we've got our KPIs on top. Like, look at this. <laughs> I've got 567 items in my demo environment. Holy cow, I've got 12 domains. I've got eight capacities and I've got <laughs> 56 total workspaces. So uh, needless to say, uh, someone creates a lot of Power BI content just to show you guys how stuff works, right? So let's first look, okay? First things first, we can see our total items by capacity. All right, well, and, and no, look at that, look at that. We do have an option to choose between capacity and workspace, but this is total items. So I can see that Eagle is my most heavily used uh, environment, but Eureka is currently in use. Look at this. This is something that's new. I don't know if I can catch this. I can't catch this, but if you see that on the zoom, maybe I can zoom in more and you can see it. Not well. It says reserve capacity for premium per user workspaces. This is awesome. This tells me I can actually see metrics around what's in my premium per user workspace. Something that I've never been able to really get like a good lock in on because it's always been What's my premium capacities? But this is great, uh, and I'll tell you why I want to see this. And I, this 
is promising for the other aspects of the admin monitoring is I want to be able to like monitor performance of items that are in my premium for your user workspaces so that they could potentially move into a premium workspace. So this is, that's fantastic. But just like everything else, I can go in, I can actually select on items and see how uh, it's being used or utilized. Oh, look at that. Tons of certified data that's inside of my, uh, inside of Eureka, uh, but also uh, promoted as well as master data is in Eureka. Eagle, on the other hand, uh, is is mostly the promoted stuff. So that's the, that's on the endorsement side. So I should guess I should hit on the other view first. So we also have the sensitivity level, so we can actually check in our endorsement and sensitivity. Right, so you can actually monitor your reports by uh, if they're endorsed or if they're marked as sensitive in your organization. Now, I'm not currently using that in my demo environment because you have that purview and you got to integrate security. I haven't done that to my demo space yet, so I don't have that there. Um, let's see what else we got here. Oh, upper corner here, I've got my domains. So here are all of the domains that I've got uh, for usage. So I could see that like, hey, my global domain has the bulk of my content in there. I do have a whole bunch of stuff in legacy, some in IT, sales and marketing are in use as well. Uh, but a whole ton of stuff that's in that's not in any domain. It's just you know in the ad hoc area of my workspace. And then if I go down and look at where all my items are by type, oh, this is actually interesting. Ah, go away, pop up. I can see that semantic models are my biggest the, the biggest thing that I have in there, which. It's odd because it should be reports, but I do lots of demos on deploying semantic models. So that would probably be why I have so many semantic models out there, but I could now, I can use this to now go clean up all that stuff that's just garbage out there. Uh, maybe not because I want to test that out, but I can actually go in and see where everything is, how I'm utilizing things. And, oh, this is, this is quite impressive. All the things, oh, look at this. It even shows that I've got like, well, that's a bad zoom. Let me get that over for you. Like, and I, I can actually see that I've got, oopsies. I've got a Databricks catalog. I've got event streams, Custo databases, Custo's event house. And I've got three org apps. So this is actually kind of, this, this is actually pretty cool because I can filter and slice and dice this. It makes it easy for me to like, look at these by different metrics. Oh, but look at this. I can switch over to workspace. Oh, uh, and now like my reports workspace has the most content in it, right? That makes perfect sense. Then my AdventureWorks Lakehouse, then my Datamart demo, my semantic models, my AdventureWorks dev D2. Oh, that's cool. So now I can filter this down and see what's in there. Aha, uh -huh. I need to like put my reports in a domain. Um, oh, that's interesting. So if I put, I could go in and, uh, I bet this isn't live, but let's actually test it out. So we'll go to reports, workspace settings. Wait a minute, where the heck did my domain go? License? Oh, come on. General, no oh, domain, it's right here. All right, I'm gonna put this in my global domain. Close that, go back over to my workspace and admin monitoring. Is it gonna be this quick, I wonder? No, I'm sure it's not. I'm sure it's not, if I refresh this, I'm not gonna see that report to workspace get out of the get out of blank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not live, right? Like we, we know it's not live. Uh, if I hit refresh on this, I'm sure the next time my data set refreshes and you can actually see when the data set will refresh. So like this was, you know, this morning when I, when I set this up, uh, next refresh is tomorrow morning. Right. So, uh, it, that, that'll end up being cleaned up there. So that, that that's fine. Right. That's how, that's how power BI works, right? Refreshes, but it allowed me to see something that needed to be done. It was easy for me to then go and, and set that up. That's pretty cool. Um, all right, let's look at this analysis page here. 
oh, look at this. Go in and look at, so like, okay, show me your highest value. I can go in and start to do root cause, uh, root cause analysis here. I don't know. Like, they're all, that's not useful. Let's break that up by uh, uh, endorsement. Oh, look at that. And then let's see uh, item subtype. Ooh. Oh, look at this. Boys and girls, girls and boys, take a look. I broke out my semantic model, right? So semantic model, I did my endorsement and then I did item subtype. Look, I could see, and look at this. I've got my import mode, my Power BI import mode, my composite model, my direct query. I don't know what the heck that is. Uh, I don't know what composite. Oh, I bet I, okay. So the biggest ones right here are, uh, let's zoom in again. We can actually see how many import models I've deployed out into the service. This is gonna be through like tabular editor three deployments. And this are uh, import models that I have that where I've just deployed the import model out in the service through Power BI desktop. So that's the PBI desktop import. Holy cow. That is something I was not expecting to see. This is fan flipping tastic. I wonder if we have any other, you know, I'm just going to back out of this to see if that we get any other interesting insights that I didn't. Uh, I could do item names. Oh, that's actually really cool. So I could do that uh, subtype where I get the import model, but then I could go to uh, item name. Holy crap on a cracker. Look at that. You could see all the different reports that are following that name. So you can actually like track that back in. Holy cow, do I like this analysis? Like this is this is flipping fantastic. It's flipping fantastic. Um, just the amount of research you could do on, on all the content inside your site. Uh, gosh darn, this is this is pretty exciting. All right, let's keep going because you don't want to watch me talk forever. Uh, this is my content sharing workspaces. So okay, so this is just we're focused in on the workspace. So what are we sharing here? So this is, okay, right now I'm looking at multiple workspaces, most shared item by type, endorsement, uh, items shared, and is it shared with org semantic model, LLM plugin and report, interesting. Oh, and detailed items. Okay, so the idea here, I would, I'm guessing, I'm guessing that we want to like hone in on uh, one workspace, because it probably makes most sense when we're looking at a singular workspace. And I don't want to do that workspace. I want to do my report workspace, because that's probably going to have the most. Okay. So here's the tail of my reports workspace. Let's zoom in so we can take a look at this. You know, collapse this. When did I stop? Go full screen. There we go. All right, so I've got my entire workspace here. So this is just my work, work, workspace. I could see like which items are in there, most shared item by item type, okay. Oh, look at this, by access count. Shut the front door. You could see who, which reports people are using. And you can like, you could you could track that usage on all of these things. Holy crap on a cracker. This is gonna be a game changer because now you can see like, oh look, I've got this test report out there. Like if only had like three people access this. Although I'm gonna guess. Uh, I don't think that three people have accessed it. Like all of them have had three. I'm gonna guess this is an error. I don't know. Seems fishy, but, but this is great though. Like what a great way to say, Hey, I've, this is the report that everyone goes to my BS line is the number two report. And then everything else down here are just stuff that I could like, look at getting rid of and cleaning up my organization. Holy cow. Oh, look, there's an analysis page. 
Oh yeah, I did that. That's what I'm doing. Like overview. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. So this is the overview workspace page. That's weird. That didn't behave the way I thought it was going to. Oh, whatever. Um, I could still go in and see the my workspace page and 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 just navigate from there. Wow, I, uh, I, I, I'm impressed. You got me. All right, so what do you think? This is a new content sharing workspace that that or report that's out there that allows you to delve in, understand what's inside your, uh, your capacities, what's consuming stuff, who, what are people are using, what they're not using, uh, allows you to track and curate and manage and govern your stuff better, and it's all right out of the box. I mean, up until now, you had to have a custom admin reporting solution to be able to like report on these types of metrics and, um. You know, I'm not saying like, you know, you don't necessarily, you, you know, some people might really need one or like one, but I think this is a pretty good step in the right direction by Microsoft. I like it. All the things seem like it's it's got like common metrics there. Uh, the, the data looks insightful. I found a number of things that I think is useful. What do you think? You th are you going to use this? Are you going to stick with the custom app? Or are, you, are you building a custom app? Leave comments down below. Uh, do you need help making a custom app? Like, hit me up. You know, I can, I can, I can take care of you. All right. Um, uh, but thank you so much for joining me today. You have the best day ever. Peace. All right. Like I said. You want to help with this stuff, you know, head over to bakertilly.com slash digital, click on the, like, get more information button. Let them know that, you know, you need some help from Kratos BI. You're looking at help from Chris Wagner. Uh, someone will reach out to you right away, and we'll make sure that you get taken care of. But if you think you can do this, and uh, I believe you can, check out this video or this video here. We'll help, we'll help you out, right? You got this. I, I'm very confident in you. Very confident.